hello it has been a really really long time i can't tell you how many times i have oh, already not filming correctly i can't tell you how many times i filmed this clip and been like oh it's been so long i'm just like not even gonna say it at this point it's obviously been a long time we have so much to talk about it's been a long time because i've been doing uni and last time we spoke i was like this is gonna turn a corner i'm gonna be consistent finally a lot has happened basically uni ended up being super intense and had loads of deadlines and i was like oh it's really it's cool like i can just film the process like what i do in a day like um revision vlogs and things like that but i ended up feeling super stressed and the work was just so much harder than any other year and i say this every year to myself but yeah i just felt a little bit overwhelmed and to be honest just like getting the work done was enough that was hard and like i couldn't balance filming and like feeling myself like I just wasn't feeling like me anymore like I wasn't putting my makeup on which is fine um but I could just manage to like go to the gym do my work have a daily routine and then like not really have any time for myself and if I did it was just like literally monging out on the sofa like watching TikTok or something like that um so I just didn't really want to film anything so I was like oh I'm revising again and like I'm kind of revising but I'm like not really focusing that well and yeah I just basically had massive burnout so that's the first thing the last few days have just been spent like with friends going i went to the pub yesterday because everything started opening back up and just trying to be a bit more social and trying to balance that and um i um, am supposed to be doing a masters next year so yeah lo <laughs> loads has happened we've got lots to talk about but i've realized i just don't think i want to do that and to pass my bachelor's degree because it's an integrated masters i have to do a project so next semester is going to be spent doing a project but i basically realized that my passions it sounds so corny but like basically what i want to do is fashion illustration i want to do fashion every time any time i see people doing fashion i'm like this is what i'm supposed to be doing and i just feel this like i don't know like sadness inside i'm like that's what i'm supposed to be doing i love physics so much and I will really miss it, but I just feel like I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to like do something creative and not be, I don't know, I like, I'm just ready to like have a break from education. And I do really like learning things and there definitely will come a time where I want to do something like that again. And that's okay, but I'm just ready to do something creative. So I've been doing, I did another reel this morning. I've not done one in a really long time. And I was just like, I'm just not feeling it. Like <laughs> I really want to do something creative, but I don't know how to start. I know I want to do fashion illustration, I really like drawing, I really like creating, I really like coming up with concepts and I just want to collaborate with brands and do yeah like illustration for products or for videos or for advertising or anything. I'd love to collaborate with Dior, that's like my ultimate goal in life is to do a collaboration with Dior. I'd love it but that's, in, that's way off in the future but yeah so basically Today has been like a bit of a turning point because I ended up going to town and I was going to vlog it and then I just like just didn't feel put together like nothing in my life feels right. I can't explain it I'm sure you guys like maybe understand how I feel but like my photos are all messy, my drawers are all messy like physically around me in my life everything feels messy. I, I haven't been able to clean in ages because of uni. I haven't done my nails and like that's such a small thing but I just feel like I'm the type of person like I just want to feel put together. Like it just makes me feel like me. I'm talking really fast but I'm trying to like get it out without sounding boring. Um, and like I want to feel like me. I work out every day but like it just feels like I always do it a little bit too late or like I'm not quite on my schniz um, or I don't make my bed early enough or like it's not like I'm saying I'm not good enough. I'm saying that I just feel like I don't have everything together. Um, and I want to do drawings, but I also want to upload them and put them on my portfolio. And I want to put myself out there and I want to create and like grab life by the horns. And I just feel like I'm not quite doing that. Um, yeah, so today was a bit of a turning point because I went into town, had a lovely date with Geo, but I was just like, I'm spending money again and like, how am I going to have money coming in and like what do I want to do with my life and I want to do fashion but I just don't know how to start and I just felt completely lost and then I 
basically I really needed a new phone because my phone dies on my morning walk some days and I'm like this is not okay but I couldn't get a new phone because everything on my phone felt so messy all my files everything like was out of place I haven't printed photos in ages I just don't have systems for anything and my motivation was really low to get those systems in place and couldn't even organize myself to like call my mum or anything and keep up with anything keep up with messages keep up with emails just all of it was just there's just so much information out there and things to organize and i just don't know what to do with it all so yeah i went to get a new phone because i was like this is ridiculous i need to get a new phone maybe that'll keep me up the bum and i was like oh i'll pay in chunks because i'm a student i don't have that much money um but i need to get a Sorry if you heard that. <laughs> I need to get a good phone because I need to be able to film my reels because my reels aren't good enough because the quality is not there. It's not competitive. I'm not going to get there because I don't have a good enough quality phone. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll get the better quality phone and I'll pay in bits and like I'm just going to have to trust myself that like I'll find a way to get money to come in. I don't know. Um, not that I'm putting too much emphasis on that either because they were like, oh, do it for fun. Like make sure you know you do this as a side thing. I I don't know. Maybe I can get like a retail job or something while I wait. But like. I don't want to put too much like pressure on it um but I don't have a fashion degree so like I can't like go and get like a grad job in fashion but even then it would be well paid anyway so yeah basically I got rejected for that I think maybe because I'm a student I don't know like I couldn't pay in bits basically because I was like oh that's fine like it's like 33 pounds a month I can afford that and I'm trusting myself in the future but yeah so I got rejected and I was like oh my god this is a massive hit to my expenses and I can't afford this. And then on the way walk back, Gio and I were just talking about it and I was like, you know what? We're gonna have to turn this around today. So basically, what I'm saying is, in a really long-winded way, <laughs> if Gio comes in, I'm just gonna like start. It's day one, baby. It's day one and we're, we're basically, it's putting a lot of onus on it and like a lot of pressure, but I basically just think that if I document it, I haven't got my together, because I'm going to have to cut that bit out now. <laughs> um, and I don't really right. know what I'm doing. It's, it's like head, shoulders, knees and toes, but you like when you don't say the bit, and it's like heads, knees. <laughs> sure. Um, but, but, and like everything's messy. Like I've left stuff out from lunch because it was too late and blah, 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 blah. And I'm not in a sleep schedule, but it's okay. And then Gio's like, well, people like the process just as much as they like the end product. So I was like, I'm sure that would make a good YouTube video. So this is my new series. It's me getting my life together and finding a way to like not be a student anymore. But I also don't want like a regular job. Blah, blah. But uh, yeah, I'm piggybacking because I feel exactly the same. Yeah, so I want to film the process and I want to do gonna photography film. and like there's different things I want to do. So I was like, oh yeah, I can just show you like me clearing out my drawers or me clearing out my laptop or oh in the morning this morning I'm sorting out my emails and like that it's okay. Passwords. <laughs> oh, don't even get me started. Um, but yeah, like struggling with calling and like making appointments and things like that. And you're going to keep me accountable and I'm going to film the whole process. And then if we get that, we will get there when we get there you'll be able to see how it happened because then I would have loved to, to watch someone else go through this and then be like, but how? How are you like that? They already that? have it figured by the time they do the, oh, this is how oh, I do it. Oh, this is how they did it. But like, no, but that's okay. Like, if, if I, if I, of course. Something, I'm not going to figure out where this is posted. But um, that's so all good and well, but like, they don't show in detail how they did it. So I'd like, I don't know. I feel like it'd be cool, like, do weekly vlogs of like what I've got up to in that week, what I found difficult, and then we can have like a little roundup on a Sunday week or something like that. Nice. But yeah, so. Bye -bye. Wait, 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 wait. Ready? What? Wait, wait let's do a thumb thumbnail. Just like that, like that, like this. <laughs> That's a good thumbnail. <laughs> Hello, me again. So basically. I have just, I'm just going to make a makeshift tripod with a candle and my moisturiser. Um, so I'm basically just going to start right now. Um, it's almost dinner time so I haven't got that much that I can do between now and dinner. And I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I'm like really scared because I'm like, I know that there's so much out there. Like even like, oh my god, if I like pick a nail or something, what do I do with it? Oh, I'm just going to put it in the bin straight away because I always just like... That's a later me issue. Like, but I don't know, it's so gross. I like, put it on the corner of my desk. I don't even know. Anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do is write a list of everything in order, vaguely, that needs to get done in order for everything 
to feel vaguely okay and so I need to just like see it conclusively and then chunk it into days and make a plan like step one step two step three and then we can take it off and get to where we want to be and live the life we want to live because otherwise I'm gonna wake up at 40 and realize I didn't live the life I wanted to live I lived some messy spaghetti life and that's that's not cool that's not what I want so yeah that's what I'm currently gonna do okay so that is now done I've written a list it is long I'm not gonna like zoom in on it because there's a lot of things to do but basically it's just like sorting files and emails and like then I've got a, like a, a list which is like weekly repeats like batching reels and batching pieces of artwork and then updating them to my portfolio and things like that so step one clean the kitchen look how much stuff is out so obviously I'm already like do this daily but um yeah I just need to sort it right this second because I basically I'm gonna have to make dindons soon I do kind of want to go on a walk today but yeah gonna clean the kitchen so I'm gonna do a little time lapse of that because I always think it's really satisfying hello I've been on a walk so I feel a tiny tiny weeny bit better um and a bit more centered I don't know it's just really nice and outside they've got some like music playing and it's really cute oh look Oh, this music's a little bit different from what it was. It was like, I don't know, Italian? Yeah, it was like, I don't know, like, like clapping along and... Yeah, and then now, where are you? You're gonna have to film me. Right. Um, now I'm just making some dinner and uh, you're tilted up. You need to like... Oh yeah, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're making some creamy pasta. It is my... Uh, speciality, if you will. Um, Gio, I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Why get your own pan out, but not mine? Got tongue off. Anyway, so we've got spaghetti, mushroom, pasta, and I normally put some carrots and broccoli in because I'm a bit of a weirdo and I really like carrots and broccoli. Um, and it's got this, this, this isn't bacon, in it that I chop up into little pieces. So yeah. It's like a carbonara and use the tofu as like the eggy bit i don't know you need to uh i am um, needs to do a this this video isn't sponsored disclaimer no. <laughs> um i came up with this recipe in the lockdown of first no lockdown the first lockdown oh god um and it was like a creamy pasta and i used to blend it and then um dawn Gio's mum sort of like changed it a bit i don't know if she like came up with one or in any way but uh, whatever um and she just like crumbles up the tofu and I was like oh well, that's less washing up so I'm going to continue to do that so it's like very garlicky salty bit of nutritional yeast um business and yeah I haven't had it in a really long time and to be honest I don't fancy it overly but I haven't got loads of food at the, end at the moment so despite the fact I feel like I food shop all the time there we go so yeah just chopping up the vegetables 